with this uh, introduction presentation management of lumbar spondylosis and arthritis by ayurveda based on karya karan siddhanta am i audible clearly hello yes sir yes sir yes doctor it is audible okay. thank you so first of all what is the Uh, this uh, how they present uh, a lumbar spondylosis or cervical spondylosis or different uh, arthritis they come with pain uh, low back pain cervical pain or pain in joints and with the swelling with the affected joint this is what uh, they come to us the usually the a cause is uh, daily wear and tear leading to injury different uh, joints and the dead inflammation then there will be degeneration osteophytic changes it usually it occurs in middle age and old age uh, i don't differentiate between lumbar spondylosis or other uh, joint uh, arthritis everything is uh, arthritis only lumbar joints or knee joint or any other joints uh, shoulder joint anywhere can happen in the body usually it occurs in middle age and old age other other causes may be by infection like tuberculosis or non tubercular arthritis or uh, growth or uh, uh, other inflammatory disorders like uh, rheumatism then also patient comes with different uh, uh, joint pain and swelling in all these condition they come to us so we have to find out what is the cause according to the to be treated this is about uh, uh, lumbar joints usually joints is uh, osteoarthritis what happens by this uh, osteophytes they may injure the nerve patient may present with uh, sciatica like symptoms also, due to this uh, arthritis so uh, don't think only disc prolapse will have uh, sciatica even uh, osteophytes also will have sciatic type uh, symptoms patient come to you then it should be treated as uh, arthritis and also Uh, the graphic both should be treated accordingly. So uh, it can be diagnosed by MRI scan. Here I am showing spine, even other knee, other joints also. X-ray, CT scan, and MRI scanning. By this you can diagnose. Even clinical also you can diagnose many of the things. So uh, it may it may come with the you see if it is a case of tuberculosis. Here also joints are involved. It can occur in the other joints. These things uh, they come to us. Usually there will be inflammation. The treatment will be rest to exercise and all this. If it is infection, give antibiotics. If it is rheumatism, treatment should be given. There is a growth should be treated accordingly. So these are all modern uh, for a presentation, for a clinical presentation, modern diagnosis and modern treatment. Now how we should do in Ayurveda? That we should think according to Ayurveda. That is why the sutra, three sutra are told in Charaka is Etu Linga Vishadam Jnanam Swasta Ara Parayanam. Patient comes with signs and symptoms. Linga. They come to us with these signs. We have to find out what is its head. That is cause. According to Western medicine, they diagnose their head and treat accordingly by biochemical or molecular. Diagnosis they give and molecular drug they give. That like that uh, their management in Ayurveda. The when you give a avishada as a whole, then we should diagnose according to or uh, holistically you should diagnose. That is why Shruta says nasti rogu vina dosha isma tarvi chakshana anuktam api even it is not told dosha na lingaihi in vyadhi even vyadhi sandhyasti gata vata or patyasti gata vata idhi. You should see dosha na linga. That vyadi. Then he knew dosha vyadi vipratiksha. Here dosha is karana. Vyadi is karya. Karya karana vipratiksha. Dosha vyadi vipratiksha. So just vyadi vyadi vipratiksha is not sufficient. In a given vyadi, different dosha ringa should be there. You should find out what is dosha symptoms. Then you should give dosha vyadi vipratiksha. So for that purpose, when we should give like this, we should be able to diagnose the case accordingly. a uh, modern uh, diagnosis uh, any advancement uh, technology is there you should utilize it you should utilize this modern diagnostic technology find out what is
which we are thinking. Right? Which dosha involved where? Like that you should think. So, whenever dosha diagnosis, it is uh, not, you can't uh, diagnose by modern diagnostic technology. This should be done by our Ayurveda principle. Whenever there is a shula is there or a shosha is there, when shula is there, always the vata involved. Vata may involve as a avrata vata or as a dhatukshaya vata. When dhatukshaya vata is there, there will be shosha, degeneration. When avrata vata is there, there will be shula. These two can present simultaneously. Some person may have shula at the same time, there will be shosha. So, as a shula, you should give avarna arjigisa. If shosha is you have to give so, so, both you should diagnose, percentage and stage, like that you should treat. If pitta is involved along with that, there will be daha, paka, kotha or akasra. Anything can be. Even the kapha is involved, you will have shotha, gleda, kandu, shitata, urutva, you see, uh, any uh, joint pain, there will be severe heaviness and uh, coldness. Or uh, uh, is there. Naturally, you should give kapha haravata. When a patient comes with daha, your treatment uh, modality will differ. Because involvement of dosha is different. Like, vyadi may be same. Which involvement of dosha? Again, if vata involved, again, you have to see, is it dhatukshaya or avrata? Uh, if it is avrata, avrata by what? These things you should analyze and give the treatment. I think that is why I am Toshuta based dosha, vyadi dosha, and as well as vyadi So, you should be able to diagnose. What is the concept? How we should do it? That is why Taraka says, Tetu sthana vishesha, havet roga vishesha. Any roga vishesha, any specific uh, vyadi will occur according to hetu vishesha and according to sthana vishesha. So now we have to analyze both. When we are able to analyze these things, naturally, easily you can diagnose and uh, give a specific treatment. So first, uh, let us see sthana vishesha. According to sthana vishesha, you will have different vyadhis. According to Hethu Vishesha, you will have symptoms of that doshas in that particular vyadhi. So, what is Sthana Vishesha? In the, in the Sandhi Gata Vata, the Sthana Vishesha symptoms, what Prashuta Charaka said, Anti Sandhi Gata, Sandhi Shura Shoka Kravati Cha, Asti Shoka Sham Prabhupada, Kutya Shura Sham, I think everyone knows this. Shoka. Sandhi Shula and Shoka will be there. At the same time, Asti Shoka will be there. Degeneration of Asti will be there. These three symptoms will be there. Yeah, even uh, patient. Or another sign, symptom, he says, Vata Poona Kutis Parshaha Shotaha Sandhi Gati Anili Prasarana Kutna Pravutishya Vedana When there you will do Prasarana Kutna of that particular Sandhi, there will be Vedana. And Vata Poona Kutis Parshaha Shotaha Just like air filled uh, Basti, there will be Shotaha will be there in a particular joint. Usually it occurs in knee joint, you can uh, uh, elicit it. When it occurs in uh, lumbar joints or cervical joints, I think you can't elicit uh, this uh, sign because above that the joint there will be thick uh, fascia layer is there. That is why shota cannot elicit from outside. But whereas uh, some slight superficial joints like uh, knee joint or ankle joint, uh, these joints you can be able to uh, uh, diagnose this vata purna, this parsha, shota. It will be there. So, uh, these are the signs symptoms according to sthana vishesha. When uh, <coughs> astigata vata is there, it's about sandigata vata. When astigata vata is there, because uh, even uh, sandhi astigata vata, astigata vata. It's very interesting uh, point here is <coughs> vedu asti parvanam sandhi shunam. You see, in uh, uh, sandigata vata, there will be asti shosha. When, uh, Astigata Vata, there will be Sandishula. There he has not told Sandishula. He has told Astishula. Whereas in Astigata Vata, there will be Sandishula. And Mamsa Balakshaya, this is very important sign you can find out in all the patients. One is Mamsa Kshaya and Balakshaya. Mamsa Kshaya is wasting of the muscles. In a long standing arthritis patient, you definitely you can see Mamsa Kshaya, wasting of the muscles, weakness of the muscles. Specifically, you can diagnose in the case of lumbar joint uh, pains or cervical joint pains or knee joint uh, pain or other parva joint pain everywhere. The uh, prominent as the sandhi will be there, there will be wasting of the muscle, corresponding muscles will be there. So, and aswapta, santata, majjasti, rukka, 
सीवियर पेन विल बी देयर मज्जा अस्थि को भी देयर है दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग बोथ वन इज संधिगत वन और अस्थिगत वन दिस सिम्टम्स इफ यू कैन एलिसिट इन अ गिवन पेशेंट सो दिस इज सेम श्लोक अगेन सो दीस आर द स्थान विशेष सिम्टम्स कमिंग टू हेतु विशेष हेतु विशेष चक्रमणि सेस पित्तावरणादि यूजुअली वी थिंक दैट हेतु विशेष मींस uh a sports injury or uh, traffic injury this or abhigatas or any other ahar viharas these are all uh, all nidanas by this nidana how dosha prakop occurs in the body yatha dushtena dosha occurs in the body that is hetu vishesha pathogenesis that is what chakramani uh, very clearly says usually people think that hetu vishesha means All other cause, kala, artha, karma, na, yoga, hina, vichya, si, matra, kha. These are all nidanas. By this nidana, in our body, how pathogenesis occurs. That is death vishesha. Even uh, his uh, doshas coming from pressure, uh, panak, from kosta, shaka, shaka, kosta, or uh, madhya maroga, marga, bacha, roga, marga, abhyant roga, or wherever pressure, panak, kas. This all comes under death vishesha. That is why. चंप्राप्ति इट्सेल्फ मींस श्लोक इज यथा दुष्टेन दोषेण यथा च अनविसर्पता निवृत्ति आमयस्य संप्राप्ति जायते रागति सो ऑलवेज यू शुड एनालाइज आफ्टर टेकिंग ऑल गेटिंग ऑल दिस निदाना इन आवर बॉडी हाउ दोष प्रकोप अकर्स व्हाट इज द स्टेज वेयर हाउ परिसर्पण अकर्स वेयर स्टेज स्थान संशय इफ यू एनालाइज दिस थिंग दिस कैन बी ट्रीटेड निदाना यू कैन डू परिवर्तन There is not treating uh, treatment for nidan. Nidan is very ordinary, but what change occurs in the pathology sectors that should be treated, that should be corrected. That is why that is the health vishesha. Yatha kustyan doshena pitta varana kafan yatha. So coming to here, we are thinking about the water dosha. So we naturally we should think how water prokop occurs. That is why Charaka says in the Atharva Diyatya, Dhatu Kshayat Koko Margasya Avrana Nacha. These are three points are there. Vata prakopa can occur by dhatukshya or by margavarana. Cha dhatukshya due to margavarana. This uh, slightly I will explain this thing. By ruksha sheeta virda har viharas dhatukshya occurs. Prakopa vata prakopa san samshya you get it. Yeah. In this context, san samshya occurs in sandhi. That is vata prakopa occurs. Prakopa itu vata. Yes, san samshya you get it. This is this is one. Another one is vata prakopa can occur by avarana. आवरण बै वाट कफ पित्त रक्त मंस मेद अस्थि मध्य शुक्र विक्त अन्न मूत्र हियर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज ए कफ पित्त आवृत वात व्याधि विल बी ऑलवेज सार्वजनिक बिकॉज इट्स इन मॉलिक्युलर लेवल वेयर एज रक्त और मंस आवृत विल बी इन द टिश्यू और सेलुलर लेवल दिस कैन अकर एनीवेयर इन द बॉडी इट इज नॉट सार्वजनिक बट एनीवेयर फॉर एग्जांपल ये रोनाशोथा इज देयर और ये अर्बुदा इज देयर इट इज एनीवेयर इन वन सम प्लेस इट विल बी But uh, it is not sarvadhi. Whereas a kapha vitta or tavata vyadi will be like, for example, madhume, avarana, kapha vitta avarana. Yes, sarvadhi. You can't have one hand madhume, another hand madhume. It is not possible. It is a sarvadhi. Whereas a rakta or mamsa or this vyadi will be sarva. Ye ka desh hai jab vyadi. Like sandhyasti ka tavata. Sandhyasti is which sandhi? Yano sandhi, yanga sandhi, or all sandhis, or in. Uh, uh, the uh, spine uh, joints anywhere it can happen wherever uh, avaran occurs you will have these things can occur so like this prakriti vata it is sansar here it is sandhigata vata like this prakriti vata can occur at sandhigata or spine uh, vata like that it can occur anywhere in the body so how how to understand this uh, concept is <laughs> then comes i will explain later then comes cha cha means what initially Avarana symptoms are more, but Rathakshya symptoms are less. As time passes on, slowly Avarana symptom comes down. Rathakshya symptoms take over. Initially, when the Avarana dinya, a vata vyadi is there, like a or paksha gata or sandhi gata vata, usually there will be swelling, pain, everything will be there. If you don't treat it, what happens in later stage? Later stage, or if you treat wrongly, this uh, Avarana dinya vyadi. Slowly convert into there will be dhatukshya patient. Dhatukshya patient comes. Patient may come to you in avarna stage or dhatukshya stage. That may be ninety percent or not ten percent dhatukshya or ten percent or ninety percent dhatukshya may be there. Yeah, join. Then should you should you give avarna or this 
both are moving entity how one moving entity can block another moving entity when you when you compare vayu and rakta vayu is sukshma than rakta rakta is stula than vayu both are moving entity anywhere if uh, a rakta blocks first rakta blocks then rakta should block vayu it can be understood by simile of a traffic anywhere rakta sothas is damaged or uh, a <coughs> rakta damaged then there will be rakta on the factors just like in a traffic heavy vehicle like lorry bus etc goes and small vehicle bike scooter everything goes as you all know the traffic anywhere in the road is damaged on lorry is damaged first lorry or bus heavy vehicle stops till you can't move your small vehicle if when there is a till you negotiate your small vehicle if there is accumulation of vehicles accumulation of vehicles are there then naturally that will accumulate vehicle blocks movement of small vehicles So first rakta stops, then dushita rakta stops, then rakta is just blocks movement of vayu. Then there will be mandalani shayato accumulation of vehicles. Mandalani shayato heat of exchange between drivers. Daha redness in eyes of drivers. Raga and pain. Even the same symptoms occur. These are five main symptoms. And I think, but inflammation according to modern system medicine or not so according to Ayurveda, it can occur anywhere in the body. Talk to Mam Sirasna Shantyaste Parma. Posta. This is uh, how a rectum or the propa these two different pain symptoms. In a sandhyasti katavata or asti gata vata sandhi gata vata. If it occurs due to rectum or na these symptoms will be there. If it occurs by that or share these symptoms will not be there. So you should diagnose it accordingly. You should treat. So uh, to happen this there should be rectum dusti. There are rectum dusti. Uh, these are rectum dusti karanas. You see rectum is a dhat. How a dhat can block why? Why is a powerful shakti swarupi dravya? A dhat is only shakti. This dosha sa reside in the dhat. Then that's the shakti news by this dosha sundi. A dhat cannot block dosha by itself. Always rakta dushti should occur by doshas. Then the dushita rakta can block the movement of why? Otherwise, it's not possible. That is why in Charaka Vidishoni ki adhya he says rakta dushti karanas. If you see here. फर्स्ट लाइन प्रदुष्ट दीक्षण वाले में त्याग लावण अक्षार है ये से पिता सूर्य रक्तस्थि कारण है सेकंड लाइन थर्ड इस कफस सूर्य रक्तस्थि कारण है फोर्थ लाइन फिफ्थ लाइन इस वादस सूर्य रक्तस्थि कारण है तेज देश तर दूषित रक्त कैम ब्लॉक मूवमेंट वायु एक दोष दिदोर सनीबाद Everything or by ahar we have, or other than this, the infections, creamy also can cause. This is what Prashuta says. Rakta adhistana jan prayo vikaran janente. See, rakta dushti occurs by creamy, by ahar we have, or by abhigar. So rakta dushti rakta anu ata prakopa. These two different sign symptoms. When it occurs, sign symptoms, sandhi and dusty, you will have uh, these sign symptoms. At uh, it, it is now clear that rakta anu ata prakopa. These two are not shown. If It can occur anywhere in the body. If it occurs at Sandhi and Asti, then there will be this prakubita vata. There will be Sandhi Asti data vata. If it is Abhi gata, your chigis primary chigis will be Shalya chigis. Or if it is Dosha Dushti, Dosha Amma Jan chigis should be done. If it is a Krimi, always a Krimi chigis should be there. What is a Krimi chigis? If in the infection theory, first chigis is told by Apadarshan chigis at Panchakarmas. मेडिसीवी Like antibiotics are developed in the Ayurveda also, there are many drugs are there. Why don't uh, we are not using? If the uh, Sushruta he says, the uh, Sura Sadi Gana, Tapak Parana, Karanja, Nimba, Raga, Raja, Tapaja, Gomutra, and Charoda. These are all creamy prakriti vigata dravyas. We are all using in our day-to-day -day practice. So there is Asana uh, Diya Skriti is there. Tirutadi Askriti is there, Aragvadadi Askriti is there. These are all Krimi Prakriti Dhat Kaviyas. Or other Rasaushadis. There are uh, Surana Vastma is there, uh, Tamra Vastma is there. 
or uh, mala sindure there are many drugs are which can kill the creamy if you are able to uh, prove this can uh, kill the specific creamy by doing culture sensitive then definitely you can utilize it so this is uh, i am saying this is the concept so if uh, we can't do in uh, uh, ayurvedic drugs you can refer such cases to western medicine person who can who can do prakriti vigata kill the creamy by using a specific drug after killing creamy you have to do avachana according to ayurveda this is what we should do. this and concept i am saying so when the, we treat uh, our treatment is always amapachana is digisa amapachana can be done by shamana and shodhana or shodhana rakta mokshana vamana virechana bastikarma this is uh, apakarshana chikitsa and nashakarma uh, is if it occurs in shirasu uh, of course in today's uh, concept may not be needed and google and rasaushadi kashaya so all thing should be given as amapachana ama will be always vasuru pitta kapasu roopa which dosha swarup ama is there like that you give specific gugulus or asaushadi or kashayas you all know you are doing ama pachana according to uh, which dosha swarup ama is there that is why nama vata he says katu tikta kashaya is there if it is kapasu swarup ama katu kashayas if it is uh, pitta swarup ama you give uh, tikta rasa kashayas like that specific drug should be given if uh, which dosha swarup Uh, Ama is there. Then uh, there is a some stage when very severe, timbas the pregnant woman, severe as the old age or small baby, shina datu, where at that stage, bahu dosha is there. Then severe dosha is there. Ama dosha is there. Ama opis tambani and such condition you have to do. Ama tambani because patient man na bhayat. If you are doing ama patient according to Ayurveda, patient may die. Such condition is specifically. you get such case when there is a septic arthritis there patient patient death may happen in such a condition you have to do amastambana and prakritigata you can refer such cases for a western medicine practitioner who can do with the specific drugs so in ayurveda if you are able to do definitely you can i am giving only this concepts so uh, this is what so now coming to diagnosis and management of sciatic these are concepts now coming to specific Uh, this is what we can do when the lumbar spondylosis or uh, sciatic these are degenerative or both uh, inflammatory both thing when uh, your treatment will be uh, arthritis may be infection or injury or autoimmune disease or degenerative anything can happen so that is a specific treatment should be given coming to sandhyastika tavata according to ayurveda just let us analyze the this concept prasara nakunchaniyo pravrutti cha vedana there will be a severe pain when patient moves the limbs so there will be vata dosha prakopa is there definitely you will understand <coughs> it can occur by dhatukshya or avarana or dhatukshya due to margavana it is already i have explained the concept this dhatukshya pathology if you analyze the thing dhatukshya pathology is two types why i am saying you see <coughs> by Uh, as in old age, naturally 50, 60 years, as in old age, rasa, rakta, mamsa, asti, madhya, shukta, all that should be done. Then the uh, sandhyastika tavata should occur. It should occur in all the joints of the body. But why prominently patient comes with uh, sandhyastika tavata usually knee joint or lumbar joint? Why it occurs? So that is why that should be can occur not only one type by continuous that should be as in old age. it can occur by avarana also because uh, when this uh, uh, by for analyzing this one i will tell you <coughs> this jatukshya can be a continuous jatukshya may be two types one is rasa rakta mamsa asti madhya shukra continuous jatukshya that is one type another one is medo jatukruddhi asti jatukshya as in menopausal age a patient becomes heavy medo jatukruddhi then asti jatukshya This is Kedara Kulya Nyaya Pathology. In Kedara Kulya Nyaya Pathology, Kedara Kulya Kedara Kulya Nyaya Physiology is like like this pathology. Continuous Atukshya and Medo Atukshya Asti Atukshya. Two types of Atukshya is there. Another type is by Avarana. Ye ye kadesh hai. It occurs. Uh, that is why I am saying why it occurs only in knee joint, lumbar joint. Because day to day wear and tear or uh, uh, you are uh, having a injury. a traffic injury or a sports injury anywhere then there will be abhigata abhigata causes rakta drushti rakta avana vata prakopa 
ಆವರಣ ಆವರಣ ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದೆತ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಸಪಿರೇಟಿವ್ ಆರ್ಥೈಟಿಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಆಹಾರ ವಿಹಾರ ದೋಷ ದೋಷ ಸುರು ರಕ್ತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ರಕ್ತ ಹಣ ಅಥವಾ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ರಕ್ತ ಹಣ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಪಕ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಚಂದೇಸ್ತಿಗತವಾದ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಆವರಣ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಖಲೇ ಕಪೋತ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಖಲೇ ಕಪ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪೋಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ಡ್ ಬೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆವರಣ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆವರಣ ಪೆಥೋಜೆನಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆವರಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಖಲೇ ಕಪೋತ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಬೆಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಅಕ್ಕರ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಆವರಣ ಇನ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಲೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಏಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಂಜೆಸ್ತಿಗತ ವಾತ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಕಲಾಯ ಕಪೋತ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ವೆನ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಖಲೇ ಕಪೋತ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಆರ್ ಕೇದರ ಕುಲ್ಯ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಪೆಥಾಲಜಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಮೇಧೋ ಧಾತು ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಅಸಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಇಸ್ತೇ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಡು ಮೇಧೋ ಹರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ವಿ ಗಿವ್ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ರಸನಾದಿ ಗಣ ಕಷಾಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮೇಧೋ ಹರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವೈ ಇನ್ನೇ ಸಂದೇಶಿಗತ ವಾತ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಚನ ರಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ಅವರು ಅಸನಾದಿ ಗಣ ಕಷಾಯ ಅವರು ಸಾಲಸರಾದಿ ಗಣ ಕಷಾಯ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅವರು ಕಥ ಕಜಿರಾದಿ ಕಷಾಯ ಮೇಧೋ ಹರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಶುಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಹೆವಿನೆಸ್ ಹೆವಿ ಹೆಪ್ಪಿ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಮೇಧೋ ಹರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ವಾತ ಪ್ರಕೋಪ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಪೆಥೋಜೆನಿಸಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಆವರಣ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಬೈ ಬಸ್ತಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಅವರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಅಭಿಗ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಅಭಿಗ ಇಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ರಕ್ತ ಆವರಣ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಭಿ ಅಭಿಗಾತ ಏದರ್ ಶಲ್ಯ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸ ಅವ್ರ ರಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಅವರು ರಕ್ತ ಮೋಕ್ಷಣ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಎಚ್ ಶೋಧನ ರಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಮಿಸ್ ರಕ್ತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೋಷ ವೈಷಮ್ಯ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಮ ವಾತ ಅವರ ವಾತ ರಕ್ತ ದೋಷ ಆಮ ಪಚಾನ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ರಕ್ತ ಮೋಕ್ಷಣ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಕ್ತ ಆವರಣ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವೆನ್ ಪೇಶಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಆಫ್ ರಕ್ತ ಆವರಣ ಯು ಟು ರಕ್ತ ಮೋಕ್ಷಣ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಡು ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆವರಣ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಯು ಡು ಇಟ್ ಯು ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಏದರ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ರಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಬೈ ಸಂಪೀಡನ ಲೇಪ ಲೈಕ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಂಡಿದ ತೂರ ಅಲೇಪ ಆರ್ ಸಂಪೀಡನ ಲೇಪಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿ ರಕ್ತ ಚಂದನ ದೀಸ್ ಲೇಪ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ರಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದನ ಆರ್ ರಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದನ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರಿಫಲ ಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ಆರ್ ಐಶ್ವರ ಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ದೆನ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಕ್ತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಕ್ತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಅಭಿಘಾತ ಅಭಿಘಾತ ದಟ್ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಇಟ್ ದೋಷ ದೋಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್
by rakta mokshana there will be vata prakopa how you are doing the uh, rakta mokshana because rakta mokshana itself causes vata prakopa how you get relief that is why he says in these conditions rudrasya vata vyadhi chikitsite krutiya prashta shodita varna nischitya so that is why if a patient comes in state of shodita varna state then only you do rakta mokshana in these all vata vyadhi if a patient comes in dhatukshya state not in the avarna state then only sirva veda vidhe anyatra you should not do only basti karma should be done then first rakta mokshana you do then vata vyadhi chikitsa avekshayata then after that you do vata vyadhi chikitsa that is basti chikitsa should be done ಮೂರ್ತಕಾಲ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೂರ್ತಕಾಲ 
विशेष अभ्यंग वेद युड़ वे फॉर मूर्त का स्थानिक अभ्यंग अंड स्वेदन यंत्र शुड बी डन चिटिंग पोजिशन टैपिंग डन उत्तर रक्त मोक्षण शोइंग दि प्रोसिजर जस्ट रक्त मोक्षण शुड बी डन हियर ऐम शोइंग फॉर गृद्रसि इट कैन बी डन इन आम इट कैन बी डन इन वात रक्त इन आल दी कंडीशन सार्वजनिक व्याधि मल्टीपुल जॉइंट आर् इनवास्ति मल्टीपुल जॉइंट आर् इन देन यू गिव शिरा वेदन वेन एक देश जो वन सिंगल संधि प्रोसिजर जस्ट उत्तित सिरा एक व्रीम का शस्त्र इट्स मुख शुभ जस्ट यू सी व्रीम का शस्त्र अर्ध यात्र व्यथना शुड बी डन रक्त फ्लोस कंटिन्यूस जस्ट यू सी आई विल शो यू क्लीन इट एक व्रीहि मुख शस्त्र इट्स इट्स इंजेक्शन एटीन नंबर इंजेक्शन नीडल is a vrihi mukha its mukha is just like vrihi you can see here see uh, usually we say this as a suchi it is not suchi it is a vrihi mukha shastra see its mukha is just vrihi that vrihi matra should be picked just you pick it then rakta stavayet dharaya dharaya rakta stava kas dushita rakta comes out this dushita rakta may be vatsar pitta kapha swarupa You can diagnose here which dosha is what. If it is pitchila, uh, black, water kapaja, or yellow, thandu is there, water pitta, or a less amount of rakta comes with the black, that is kevala water dushita. Like that, you can diagnose and give the specific treatment. More the kaan it goes. How much rakta removes? You are not removing. Your disease will decide how much rakta should go. Uh, usually. अर्ध प्रस्थ प्रस्थ मात्र अर्ध प्रस्थ अर्ध से अर्ध प्रस्थ प्रस्थ से सेवन ट्वेंटी एम एल अर्ध प्रस्थ थ्री सिक्सटी अर्ध से अर्ध से वन एटी एम एल रक्त स्टॉप वेन शुद्ध रक्त स्टार्ट कम इट विल स्टॉप बै इट से डोट वरी इट विल नाट स्टॉप इट विल स्टॉप बै इट से नव इट्स आलमोस्ट स्टॉप नौमोस् Now, just you see. Uh, by this what happens? Long term, Vedana Shanti, Lagutva Vedana Shanti, and another very important Vyadi he Vega Pariksha. He never tells Vyadi Pariksha occurs. Vyadi he Vega Pariksha. That Avarana will go. After that, what the Vedic is should be done. Always you don't think that just by Rakta Moksha you can cure every disease. No, Rakta Moksha is Vyadi he Vega Pariksha. Avarana point will go. Then for that Pariksha. और वात वृद्धि शुटी बस्ती जिगिस और अदर शमन चिकित्सा बै चिरा बस्ती अग्निकर्म अग्निकर्म रक्त मोक्षण एंड बस्ती दीज थ्री ट्रीटमेंट संधि अस्थिगत वाता एंड रुद्रशीवे रक्त सुश्रुत चरक लाइक प्रसाद मन पेशेंट विल वेरी हापी आल दी पेशेंट हेव सी Plenty number of patients. He will be very happy after that. The result you get immediately. Vyadi he vega pariksha kars patient feels lightness and his pain comes down. This is what result you get. So, so uh, when uh, uh, how much rakta goes? It is uh, it is in the vishwachi I am showing or in the hand. How oh, you uh, rakta motion? A two angula above. Two angle above Shipra Marma. The Shipra Marma is here. Two angle above this vein or any straight vein, you can utilize for Sira Agat. So here, this is uh, about the Vishwachi I am showing. Or even uh, Vatrakta also you can utilize this uh, procedure. Paschat Karma. After that, 
on the, if a bad prick is that the does not come completely on that evening itself next day morning you can do or maasa matra after one month after sneha ji ji say you can do again and uh, after rakta mokshana ego along with rakta agni also go so as agni manje should not occur that is why lagu deepani dravya should be given to patient as a post operative treatment so uh, about discussing about rakta mokshana Uh, in the in the sandhya stiga tha vata what i am saying when the multiple joints are involved like vata rakta always you should use sira vedha sira sarvanga shuti whereas shunga alabu jalavuka is there shunga removes rakta from dashangula alabu dwadashangula jalavuka hasta matra area here very interesting is, is this point tvak rakta mamsagata vata vyadis tvak rakta mamsagata vyadis rakta javadis you should use Uh, if it is vata dushita shunga pitta dushita jaloka kapha dushita lab if it is gambhira in madhyama roga marga abhyanta roga marga any dosha you should use only jaloka if it is eka desha ja if it is multiple area more than hasta matra you should use sira vedana that is why in grudrasi vishwachi uh, tushuda karaka says sira basti agni karma sha he never told the jaloka basti agni karma sha because it is more than hasta matra area whereas in sandhyasti gata vata what he says ಮಾಡಿಲ್ ಸರ್ವೈಕಲ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ನೀ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ to give this one in the same patient multiple joints you can utilize it but always a multiple joint it is better to use sira vedana but to a single joint always use jalavaka chara test to see can be done so uh, i think uh, uh, i you understood why this rakta moksha here charaka the sushuta says sarveshu sarvesh purukte rakta he have about 167 condition has told ಸರ್ವೇಶು ಪೂರ್ವೋಕ್ತೇಶು ರಕ್ತ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಜೇಷು ಕೃತ್ವೇಶ ರಕ್ತ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಜವಾದಿ ಅವ್ರ ರಕ್ತ ಜೇಷು ರಕ್ತ ಜವಾದಿ ಶಿರೋ ವೇದ ವಿಧೇಯ ವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಕ್ತ ಆವರಣ ಇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಓದ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಶಿರ ವೇದ ನಾ ಅನ್ಯದೃಶ್ ಅದರ್ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಷಯ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಕರ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಅದರ್ ದೇನ್ ರಕ್ತ ಆವರಣ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ರಕ್ತ ಮೋಕ್ಷಣ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ಯು ಸಿ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ರೂಕ್ಷ ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿಪ್ಪಲಿ ಅಜಾಶತ್ರು ಗೋದಂತ ಶರ ಶಲಾಕ ಜಂಬೋ ಶಿತರಲೋಹ ಕ್ಷೌದ್ರ ಗುಡಸ್ನೇಹಾಶ್ಚ ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಪಿಪ್ಪ ಅಜಾಶತ್ರು ಗೋದಂತ ಶರ ಶಲಾಕ ತ್ವಗತಾನ ಜಾಂಬೋಷ್ಠ ಇತರಲೋಹ ಮಾಂಸಗತಾನ ಇಸಿ ರೂಕ್ಷ ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ತ್ವಕ್ಕ ರಕ್ತ ಮಾಂಸಗತ ವ್ಯಾಜ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಿರಾಸ್ ನ ಸಂಧ್ಯತಿ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ಷೌದ್ರ ಗುಡಸ್ನೇಹ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ನಿಗ್ಧ ಅಗ್ನಿಕರ್ಮ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಶಿರಾ ಸ್ನಾಯು ಸಂಧಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ your ruksha agni karma will not, may not be useful that much i think many of you uh, are the patient are using ruksha agni karma uh, what i am saying in such kind of if you utilize nigdha agni karma it is always better you you will get a get a result like anything just you see i will show you the nigdha agni karma to uh, this video i am showing it is a self explanatory can you hear the audio you know yes sir yes just you enjoy or at least in that area oil should be applied then the pinpoint that tender area where is 
the severe pain is that area you make it keep a coin that that, that is a coin is selected only to locate the, uh, locate the locate the tender point no there is no other role for coin and not heating coin at all the so oil is heated with the leaf usually i take uh, dattura leaf you can use uh, arka leaf also the boiling the this is to protect my finger coin is taken see it is burnt with the leaf oil wet hot leaf not with the coin don't mistake it i am not using coin to heat coin is only to protect my finger immediately patient gets a relief so what yeah i hope you understood uh, don't uh, heat the coin and uh, apply there many of them mistake and the doing like this after seeing my video please uh, see oil is heated and it was kept over that now uh, your coin is taken only to protect my finger now he is going without pain so then another patient of uh, shoulder joint pain he had very severe pain in the shoulder joint what i do is i keep the coin to locate the tender point just like that i heat it heat the datura with the oil and to kept there just you see how much uh, relief he gets immediately he had very severe you could not uh, lift the uh, hand that much severe pain was there due to tenderness in the uh, amsa sandhi amsa sandhi gatavata is amsa sandhi gatavata just you see so don't mistake don't uh, heat the coin and put there just to heat the oil with the leaf why uh, you may think how agni it becomes agni garma because it is not burning you see there is no burning of the skin actually oil boils in 165 degree temperature that heated the that hot oil when i kept there its vidhi enters through the it agni uh, enters through its roma kupa and it gets relief agni garma test you see just you apply see just to protect my finger i take this this one me yeah that's all there is no blood there is no burn but a patient gets relief you see he is lifting his hand now easy this is what result you get immediately after agni garma atyugra roji vayu is the relief when there were there is atyugra roji vayu now he is able to lift his limb so this is all. but after that what have been chikitsa should be done for dhatu kshaya vata buddhi he should give treatment afterwards otherwise it's a temporary relief patient may get the pain afterwards so it's very important you should treat the vata vyadi after because dhatu kshaya vata buddhi should be treated this is another case of uh, uh, tennis elbow uh, it is not uh, sandhi or asti gata it is a uh, mamsa is mam sa gata break radius muscles tendon is uh, pain occurs the mam sa gata vata that is why we are using ruksha agnigarma not to stick the agnigarma in a tennis elbow just you see how it is done here stick the agnigarma is not useful we should use ruksha agnigarma <coughs> make point that area take the Or this one. Just to see, it is self-explanatory. It is always a samyak dagda is painless. A dur dagda or ati dagda or prushta is very painful. Whereas samyak dagda is not that much painful to the patient. Just to see, she is allowing me to do the agni karma. Just to see. 
We are doing it. Yeah. It is not uh, painful. Don't think that it is a, a pain. It's always a painless procedure. Patient gets relief immediately. In Agni Dharma, that is so fast relief. Yes, it's what uh, get result immediately. <coughs> See, after that, we just apply Haridra Churna. Tell the patient to apply Haridra Churna for four, five, seven days. It will heal by it. So, patient gets a relief in the head. pain has gone. See? Yes. The most very fast result you get. So, uh, then uh, comes Basti Karmai. What uh, Chakradatta says, Rudrasya Naram Veke Avanenapai. In a Rudrasya, all these things, before giving Basti, get the Niramasa by Vamana and Virechana should be done first. You can do Satyamana Virechana, or if you, even if you are not doing the classical Vamana Virechana, Satyamana Virechana, get post Shuddhi, then start with the Basti Karma. While giving Basti Karma, if it is uh, Kapha Ama is there, Kapha Ama is there. How you understand Kapha Ama? There will be heaviness, numbness, these things are there. Then Bhrath Sainthava Thayla for Anvasana. If uh, Pitta Vata, Daha is there, or pain is there, that indicates the Pitta environment, Madhura Ganavashiti, Thayil, Balashavandadi or Kshira Balathayil. If Asti Dhatukshaya stage is there, it is Dhatukshaya stage, there will be Asti Shosha is there. You can find out that sound, all these things. Then Tiktaka, Sarpi Basti, Guguru Tiktaka, Grata, Basti. For Nirva Basti, if Kapha Ama is there, you give Vaitrana Basti or Kshara Basti, uh, Yaranda Mula Kshara or Dasha Mula Kshara Basti. So Pitta Vata is there, Daha is there. Sachikani, you always you give Kshira Kashaya Bastis, Dashamula Kshira Kashaya, Balamula, Yerendamula, Kshira Kashaya Bastis. If it's Asti Dhatu Kshaya stage, if patient after doing this uh, uh, Basti Karma and uh, uh, sorry, Agni Karma, Rakamatra, this infant Dhatu Kshaya stage only is there. Kapama is you to utilize these things, it's only the Asti Dhatu Kshaya is there. Or after giving three, four Kshara Bastis, if Vetra uh, Ama Pachana is gone or uh, Kafama is reduced, only the Asthida Ruksha is, is there. Then you Tiktaka, Shira Sarpi Basti. That is Dashamula Pancha Tikta, Shira uh, Basti should be given as a Niruha Basti. For Anuasa, Google it. Whereas Kafama is there, Vitta Vata is there, then Niruha Basti is a Kshara Basti or Kshira Kashaya, and Anuasa Basti is Prasa in the way. Like that, uh, which dosha you know, like that, you decide which dosha you know. Then accordingly, Chikisa should be given. That is why uh, Vagbata says, Dushyam, Desham, Balam, Kalam, Analam, Prakrutim, Vaiha, Satyam, Satyam, Ahara, Mahastasya, Sukhme, Sukhme, Pariksha. Dosha, Avusha, Nirupana. How Dosha is there? Like that, Avusha, Nirupana should be done. Or Vyadi, there will be a protocol. Chira, Basti, Agni Karma, or Agni Karma, Chira, uh, Rakta Mokshana, and Basti Karma. It's a protocol. In that protocol, which Basti should be given? That, or which uh, type of Rattamokshana, that is according to which dosha is not. Like that you should uh, analyze. So, not giving the same vasti for everybody. Each and every patient comes, you analyze him, see the state of the dosha, see the state of the vyadhi, avastha. And like that you decide and uh, specific treatment should be done. Hypothetical, now itself don't decide uh, from tomorrow that he gives the uh, same vasti. No. As patient comes, diagnose it and give specific treatment. Then coming to Sveda Chikitsa, there are uh, four uh, types of Sveda. I think everyone knows about it. Tapa Sveda, Vashpa Sveda, Dava Sveda, Ushma Sveda. Many Sveda uh, You are giving Katibasti, you are giving uh, Upana Sveda, you are giving Patramanda Sveda, different Svedas. Uh, I think uh, in Kerala there are many types of Sveda. Satya. 
why you are uh, deciding which is Veda? How you decide? You see, uh, in a statement, uh, what Dalrana says, when the uh, Bhashpa Sveda, Tapa Sveda, when it's all of his Sveda, sir, Vata Dusha. When Tapa Sveda, Bhashpa Sveda, always Kapha Sanyukta Vata. Where Dava Sveda is for Pitta Sanyukta Vata. For Kemala Vata, he says to give Pana Sveda. Again, now you have analyzed, uh, you understood this one. It's a statement. Now you should understand why. <laughs> He's not told why. Now we can analyze. When the Pitta Samsarga Vata, he says to give Dava Sveda. What is Pitta is made up of what? Agni and Jala. Agni and Jala. Even a Pitta Samsarga Vata, if you give Tapa Sveda or Bhashpa Sveda, what happens? Jali Amsha of Pitta will reduce. Agni Amsha increases. Instead of his pain coming down, it will increase. In that state, he says to give Dava Sveda for a Pitta Samsarga Vata. Why? Because in Dava Sveda, it contains Agni and Jala. Pitta also contains Agni and Jala. Dravatva of Dravasveda will not reduce Dravatva of Pitta Dosha. Only it does Ama Pachana. Agni Amisha of Dravasveda does Ama Pachana. That is what needed. That is why we are giving Dravasveda in a Pitta Samsarga Vata. When Kapa Samsarga Vata is there, you have to remove Kleda. That is why you are using Tapasveda and Bhashpaveda. When for Kevala Vata, he said to give Panasveda. Why? What is Panasveda? It contains basic Dravyas like uh, <coughs> Yava, Goduma, etc. To add to that, what you add? Snigda Dravya, Lavana, Amla Dravya, and uh, this one, Ganda Dravyas. Now all Vatahara Dravyas. May add water, make it a payasam, then boil it, it will become upma, then it should be spread over cloth, then you are binding it at that area. Why you are binding? Vata is a chalaguna, it will move from that area through do bandana and through the ampachana. That is why Upanasveda is told in Kevala Vata. It's all according to Dosha Vikalpa. As soon as the patient comes, just you see it, a Pitta Samsarga, Kapa Samsarga, like that, you decide which type of Sveda should be given that patient. Then coming to oral medicine, there are many Googles are told. This is also selected according to Dosha. Why I am saying? Because Asti Majja, Majja Asti Kupitanile, usually uh, he said all Googles should be given. If you see Shananga Dharasami, there are many Gugulus. Trifala Gugul is there, Simanada Gugul is there, <coughs> Chandra Brahma is there, Kaishwara Gugul is there, Gokshwara Gugul is there. You know, every Gugul he says it can be given in Sandhya Stigatva. <coughs> which Gugul you select, which patient, how will you decide? It's, it is not told there, but you should analyze the Gugulus, its contents, like that you should select the according to, Dosha should be selected. You say, uh, just, uh, I will analyze it. A Trifala Gugul means, it contains Trifala, Pippali and Gugul. A Kaishwara Gugul means, it contains Trifala, Guduchi and Gugul. Gokshara Gugul contains Trifala, Gokshara Gugul. Simhala Gugul contains Trifala, Gandaka and Gugul, Yerana Theta Bhav. Chandra Prabha contains Trifala, Chitra, <coughs> Shila Jitu, Karnamakshika and Gugul and other small Pravyas. Yogara Gugul contains Trifala, Chitraka, and Gugul, and small other may, may, many materials. Kanchana Gugul contains Trifala, Kanchanara Gugul. All Gugulos contains Trifala. Why? In Vatrakta Jaya, because it's all uh, in the Sandhya Stigata, always daily variant hair is there. There will be Rakta Vata. It's Vata Shunitiki conditions are there. In Vatrakta Jaya, Sushuta says in uh, uh, Sarva Vata Rakta Jaya, Play area, he says, Trifala is the best to deepen a bachana dravya. You are doing ama bachana. Ama will be always vata surupita kapa surupa. Which dosha surupa ama? Like that, you should decide which guru should be given. If it is vata surupa ama is there in a given patient, then you give trifala guru. It contains trifala, pippali guru. Pippali is a madurai pakadravya vata. If it is pitta surupa ama, then use kaishara guru. Pitta is made of agni and jala. Agni amsha pitta more. Take Kaishara Guru, Jali Amsha more, Jali Amsha Pitta is more, then you will use Gokshuradi Guru. A Kapha Sarovama takes Yogaraja Guru, Yogaraja Guru. It contains the Chitra Kamein. If, uh, if there is a Vibandha is there, you can utilize the Simvanada Guru. When the Kapha's Parthi Amsha more, such a Guru uh, uh, condition is there, take Kanchanar Guru. Right? According to Dosha, involvement you should select a specific Guru. Then coming to uh, another Google, that is Trayodasham Guru, very famous Google. It, it contains 
ಬಬ್ಬೂಲ ಅಶ್ವಗಂಧ ಜೀರಕ ಅಜಮೋದ ಬಿನಿ ವಾತಾವರಣ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಗುಗ್ಗು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರುತ ಇಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ತ್ರಿಫಲ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ ವಾತಾವರಣ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಗೃತ ಇಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ಇಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಗುಗ್ಗುಲು ಗೃತ ಪಾಕ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆವರಣ ಧಾತುಕ್ಷ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾ ಆವರಣ ಧಾತುಕ್ಷ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಧಾತುಕ್ಷ ಸ್ಟೇ ಆರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇವರ ಪಂಚಗಾಮ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಧಾತುಕ್ಷ ಸ್ಟೇ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ತ್ರಯೋದಶ ಗುಗ್ಗುಳು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೀಚ್ ಗುಗ್ಗುಳು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಭ್ಯಂತರ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಲೈಕ್ ಗಂಧ ತೈಲ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ಷೀರಬಲ ತೈಲ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಗುಗ್ಗುಳು ಸಿಕ್ತ ಗೃತ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಮಧುರ ಗಣವಶ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಮಾಂಸ ಬಲ ಕ್ಷಯ ಇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ಷೀರಬಲ ಅವರ ಗಂಧ ತೈಲ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಇಸ್ ಗುಗ್ಗುಳು ತೇ ಗೃತ ಅವರು ಗಂಧ ತೈಲ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಕಷಾಯ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದೋಷ ಯು ಕಲ್ಪ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಷಾಯ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ದೋಷ ಇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಮೇಧೋ ಧಾತು ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಧಾತು ಕ್ಷಯ ಮೇಧೋ ಹರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಗೀವನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇ ಗೀವ್ ಅಸನಾದಿ ಗಣ ಕಷಾಯ ಅವ್ರ ಸಾರ ಸಾರಾದಿ ಗಣ ಕಷಾಯ ಎಫಿಡಿಸ್ ಆಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಗೀವ್ ತಿಕ್ತಕ ಕಷಾಯ ಅವ್ರ ದಶಮೂಲ ಕಷಾಯ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೋಷ ಇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಪಟೋಲ ಕಟುರು ಇನ್ಯಾಯ ಕಷಾಯ ಎಫಿಡಿಸ್ ಪಿತ್ತ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಧಾನ್ಯತೆ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ದ್ರಾಕ್ಷಾದಿ ಕಷಾಯ ಅವ್ರ ರಾಸ್ನ ಎರಂಡಾದಿ ಕಷಾಯ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೋಷ ಇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸಿಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಪೇನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ he can able to do his all his day to day work afterwards a lumbar joint pain so to conclude uh, i think uh, uh, i have discussed all the uh, one thing i will tell before concluding whenever patient comes to us in a clinic always we should diagnose it what is it so uh, diagnose it that is a nidana first you should see all ahara uh, vihara everything nidana is there then in a specific nidana it should be done is it by krimi is it by abhigata is it by ahare once you understood then it, uh, is it a rakta avarana state or dhatuksha state it should be avastha should be done then uh, where is the area that is specific area what happened even if a knee joint pain comes to you uh, a asti dhatu asti may be involved or there is a tendons may rupture may be there or there will be both the tendon and asti rupture fracture may be there there may be fracture there may be effusion is there that is a prostuka shirsha vasta may be there like that or patient may come a heavy person he is going here and there itself is a variant uh, at that area so or he may had 20 30 years back had a injury now he is coming with a severe pain is it is in a dhatuksha state a sports uh, person comes with the sports injury he may come with avarana stage or dhatuksha stage every patient you should diagnose according diagnose is it in avarana stage or dhatuksha stage if it is avarana avarana by what usually rakta avarana is there with ekadesha jaya already discussed if it is rakta dushti is there then again rakta dushti by what by abhigata or by ahara vihara as in rheumatism or by infection this should be diagnosed it can be diagnosed by nowadays with mri scan ct scanning you mm-hmm. easily you can diagnose uh, uh, because uh, if you are giving panchakarma this mri scanning to ct scan cost is not that much but in op level uh, definitely it's difficult uh, do the all investigations definitely you can diagnose it after diagnosing it only you should start the treatment if it is infection definitely infection should be treated uh, creamy should be treated first if it is ahara vihara dosha sru mama or uh, that means i usually call these are all autoimmune diseases so you should be treat accordingly only they, uh, these things uh, that ama pachana should be done rakta mokshana can be adopted rakta mokshana and ama pachana omana virechana basti this thing if it is abhigata special yeah, chikitsa needed should be done otherwise it should you can give uh, all this uh, ayurveda treatment whatever told patient gets complete relief ರಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಸಾದನ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್
most of the i think 80 to 90 percent of patients without surgery you can manage only 5 to 10 percent may need surgical uh, intervention otherwise you can treat easily so to conclude always no surgical after presentation in a vyadi in different patients accordingly different stage is important avastha vishayanti kisam kya after dosha vikalpa according to research should be done to get maximum benefit in present era to succeed in ayurvedic treatment our treatment should be better than best in modern system of medicine as per my experience treating more than i think almost 3 to 4000 cases i have treated in sciatica lumbar spine dosis other other arthritis uh, joint pains rheumatism all these things we can give better results in ayurveda with utilizing modern advanced diagnostic and management equipment uh, drugs may be given uh, modern drugs may be needed in a very small percentage especially in the infections otherwise you may not need any modern medicine so with this uh, i conclude my presentation i think you understood this shloka very well the sutra of ayurveda always you do satat adhyayana padah there is nothing like uh, your adhyayana is closed it is always lifelong process satat adhyayana vada discussion paratantra avalokana tad vidya acharya seva which vidya you want to learn you do acharya seva then buddhi medha karogana you get good knowledge and give service to the patient with this knowledge thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much i have concluded the presentation thank, thank you you sir. can ask any questions now thank you sir for all the full presentation Uh, so sir we have got some kind of questions here uh, so, you can ask i can't hear you properly sir i can't hear you i don't know why sir is it audible now uh, if you speak loudly i can uh, hear you yeah is it is it okay sir now yes yes okay sir uh, so in the uh, first question is in snigdagni or mark blister formation is happening oh, or not it will not happen i have shown you know there is no blister formation blister formation should not happen okay, it should sir. not burn only vire of agni should go enter and burn the inside okay sir and one more question related to that is uh, which oil is usually taken illa da illa illa da illa okay sir sir and uh, regarding uh, in diabetic patient uh, uh, regarding the use of agni karma how we can no problem since there is no blister for me there is no wound you can do it no problem okay sir and uh, the doctor here had a uh, instant of getting blister formation after doing agni or my tennis elbow uh, so what is your opinion in such conditions in the uh, tennis elbow you have to do ruksha agni karma sir you are doing samyak dagda on superficial burn it will not uh, form blister will not form blister should not form it is a samyak dagda you are doing samyak dagda means uh, even in the plushta there will be blister formation but uh, you are doing samyak dagda there is no chance of uh, blister formation always ruksha agni karma should be done for a uh, uh, tennis elbow it is a mamsa gata vata it is not sandhi gata vata okay. yeah to priya tp i hope you got the answer Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, in this Pardon? I can't hear you, sir. Some are doing. Sir, am I here audible? No, you are not audible, sir. Is that one second, sir? My connection is little unstable. Yeah. Hello. Am I audible? Oh. Can I ask a question, sir? Yes, definitely. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, in brachial plexus injury, C five. Please, sir. Please uh, speak loudly. I can't hear. In in brachial plexus injury, C five, C six, C seven patient uh, around seven or eight months history, mm. patient unable to lift hand and severe wasting and pain is present. Then how uh. can we approach that case, sir? No, if first uh, pressure dwesha is there, first you should do the rakta moksha. Then you do basti karma as a line of treatment. Then you can do nashya karma. 
ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ಫುಲ್ಸ್ಟ್ಲಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಲಿಸ್ so uh, just you see uh, when patient comes to you in that state uh, you should diagnose the stage of the disease then you should give the treatment definitely rakta mokshana should be first line of treatment just you do uh, jalauka vachana in that cases then you will do basti karma okay and sir and the papers yeah okay so in all ligament injury and or abigada first we can do our rakta moksha ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶದ್ವೇಷ್ಟಿ Uh, in L3 to S1 region. Uh, so, uh, what should be the line of uh, approach in such a case, sir? I told you, no. it, it may be anything according to...